Hey guys, it's Adrian here and this tutorial uh, we're gonna cover most of the splines and curve tools inside of 3ds Max. So 3ds Max has the most advanced and amazing curves and splines feature in the whole industry. I'm gonna cover most of them very quickly and very fast and move to the next one. But the first one is Love Tools and go to the splines and create a circle shape and rectangular just a bunch of random splines in here then go to the front view and create a line create one single line in here okay i'm gonna just uh move this one up okay now i'm gonna select one of my splines so I'm going to start my shape to be circular shape and have a smooth transition to become a rectangle. So first I'm going to I select the circle, then go to the compound objects and select love tools and get path first. I'm going to get this path in here. So we have this path in here, so it's a bit scale it down so we have the first path so if you look closely we have this yellow dot in here i can move this one up move this one up right here about 40 degrees something like that and at this point i want to have a transition a sort of transition to be rectangular so we have a rectangular shape in here okay i can go back to my line in here select like this one and move this one up i can go back to my love tools and go back in here and move the dot up in here and sh change it to our ellipse in here get shape like that amazing so we are almost done and in here i can twist it a little bit more i can select the twist in here it kind of a, like a modifier I can twist it in here, add more dots, I can scale in and out, bevel it, and some more amazing features. I can, for example, for example, select this shape right here and move this one up and down. Okay, so this was a love tools, and it has a lot more to offer, trust me. I have another um, tutorial to cover that. Okay, so and then I'm gonna convert it to edible poly and maybe we can create some uh, all these edge loop in here and convert it to a spline. So we, it's gonna be very complex and pragmatic shape. Let's select all of these and go to the edge, modify ring, select them all and create shape from selection. So we can create shape from selection very cool feature again instead of 3ds max let's move this to the right and select this one and enable see it in the viewports like this and change it the scale it and very cool i can move change it to the radio and change the side something like this and you can see it's very powerful stuff really amazing Alright, I can again change the rotation, change the size in here. Really amazing. Even change it to a rectangle shape. Alright, so you can see it's very easy to create all this complex shape. And we have the beautiful transition between circular shape to a uh, rectangle and again the circular shape. It's very hard to create this kind of uh, complex shape by using the uh, traditional method like a polygon method it takes a long time so the next tools is gonna be the let me see we have a late modifier let me demonstrate that as well let's go to the spline again let's go to the line and create just a simple line in here something like this okay 
I want to have uh, some kind of a, a 360 features to be able to create the whole shape. I'm gonna use in the lay lace modifier. This one just and it right here add a light modifier on top and go to the late and to access and change the access so we have this one right here i'm gonna select it go back to our line in here i can change it on the fly let's just enable see the end result in here i can select this one and move this one down you see it's very powerful feature in here move this one right here like move this one up even inside in here i can select this one and for example i can smooth it create a round shape increase it i can go to the iteration in here and you increase or decrease the Polycounts. It's really amazing and powerful tools. So the next one is gonna be the a sweep modifier. A sweep is super powerful for creating ornaments around the corner of the buildings. Again, I'm gonna create a line in here. Holding shift, activate angle snap. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a sweep modifier on top. The C modifier has some built in section. We can create a pipe in here very fast. Uh, kind of built in modifier in here, or I can create a custom shape, shape in here. I can again go to back or sub uh, splines and create some uh, spline shape in here something like this okay and i'm gonna select go to my sp modifier tool and pick uh the this spline in here as you can see we have this spline at to our sp modifier again i can select it move this one up and down select this one move this one up move this one down select all these one and maybe smooth this we have this transition in here it's like this one move this one down move this one in here maybe I even delete it a lot of power i have over this okay so this was the c modifier very powerful maybe one of the most powerful modifier instead of through this max you can achieve many amazing things in here Alright, so the next one is gonna be the shell modifier, kind of similar to the sweep modifier, but by using the geometry, uh, by using the polygon. So I'm gonna I go to the standard parameters and add a plane, and go to, go to the modifier list and add a shell modifier on top and activate bevel edges and select the or a spline in here we increase the bevel something like that again i can change easily the shape right here i can select this one this two right here move this one down move this one up i can select these two and change it to become a, a smooth around this part in here a smooth it you get a smooth i can go all the way down and increase the Poly counts increase the poly counts very easily, very fast. I can create all sorts of amazing. It's a kind of a rooftop in here. All right, so the the next one is gonna be the path. So let's cover path and array modifier in here. Okay, so the path modifier let's create a shape in here i can use a shape or using the polygon for example i have this create a box in here or a cylinder now let's add a bunch of different segment in here and i want to be able to 
Let me just move this one right here. So let's create a path. Again, I'm gonna using the go to the splines and create a simple path by using the line in here. I can select the line and then smooth the right click smooth. Then select the object in here, then go to the modify list and hit search for path, not patch path, wrap deform. Select the path deform modifier and it's automatically move. Uh, I can move it move or shape or I can stretch it along this path right here very powerful stuff I can change the rotation flip it and stretch it all the way in here stretch it and move it very easily very fast very cool you have to add a lot of more poly count to the shape as well so the next one is going to be, let me undo that. So next one is going to be array. Let me just try array. Array is kind of a similar, but it will duplicate it, not the stretch it. Let's go select the array. Array has a very powerful tool. It's a very powerful tool that can copy it along the radial grid surface, but I'm going to use in the poly count spline and I'm going to duplicate it along the spline. I'm going to I can increase the count in here, offset it, I can go all the way down, change it to the continue and uh, randomize it on the rotation, you know, you can do a lot of very amazing stuff by using the array tool, very powerful. So the, I cover most of the, uh, tools inside of 2 ds Max. So the last one is going to be a cross section. For example, if I want to create some kind of a chair in here, I go to and create a circle a spline. I'm going to convert it to edible spline and just hold shift and move this one up and create some copy in here. Okay, I'm going to select the first one and attach them all together. Let's go and attach, or I click attach them and attach them all together like that. Then go on top and search for cross section. All right, so what it, what it will do, it will um, add a linear crossing and kind of attach all the splines beneath it all together so i'm gonna but in order to become a 3d become a geometry 3d objects we have to add a surface modifier on top and add the shell modifier again all right so let's again go let's go back to our spline enable and show results here and in this part i can easily use you know, select this one in here and change the shape very easily. You change the shape like this. Let me go back to intersection. The opposite. So let's just move this one up, move this one down. I can scale it. Maybe move this one right here. Move this one up as well. Scale it. Move this one up. Create some sort of, I don't know, chair or something in here. Move this one in here. Move this one down. Again. Again, color it all sorts of amazing feature in here. Even Control shift or add another one. Add another one of these right here. All right, so this is a very cool stuff. And the last one, if you want to create a splines on the surface of the geometry, you can using this section spline in here. For example, if I create a geometry like a cylinder in here and for example, this geometry has a lot of faces and a bit more complex. 
let's go this way and we have this face go this way as well you know I call crazy stuff happening in here so I want to have the exploring line this line right here maybe it's a bit more hard to select the edges I can go to the spline and add the section at the section in here and move this section up in here so you will automatically uh, create a spline for me whenever I put the axis in here it will uh, create a spline along our surface pretty amazing just go to the section and create the shape create the shape right here okay select the shape enable in the viewport really fast amazing so this was the end of this tutorial i hope you like it it's just the tip of the ice so every one of these features is much more powerful i just wanted to show you and have a concept of the all these amazing features so be sure to thumbs up hit the subscribe button and see you guys next time take care